I used to be an application freak. Tried all the apps for productivity, time management, file management, note taking, writing, reading, all of them. Until I found Notion. Notion is basically my second brain. In this video, I'll show you how I would create a template for my digital life in Notion, starting from scratch, but first, I'll give you a little tour of some of my pages so you know what we're gonna do here. I have a weekly schedule for all my tasks, a content calendar where all my video ideas live, homework for life, where I write the highlight of my days, my links, where I save interesting articles I wanna read in the future, and recently, I added a mood board, a collection of images that I find interesting. Guys, this could be the easiest Notion guy you'll find out there because I didn't design any of the pages I'm about to show you. All of these templates are from Notion. I just tweak some things to my liking and that's it. All right, let's do it. This is how it looks once you start your new account in Notion. There is a folder preset. First thing I'm gonna do is delete the folders I don't need. Now don't worry, if you want to create a new page, all you have to do is click this little plus here, add page, and voila. You have these options. I usually start with a template. Let's begin with a weekly to-do list. So there you have the week. You can get rid of all the information that's not needed. So a normal day for me would look like this. I like to organize my days by blocks of time where I write each task I have to do, even if it's not work. I just find my days to be more productive when I do. There is a highlight, which is the most important thing I need to do that day. Then a divider. The time I wake up, half five, usually slow morning, seven to half eight, deep work. I add a little checkbox. It feels good to check the tasks as you complete them. Okay, so you get the idea, it's pretty easy. Once you have your daily template, just copy and paste to every day, then tweak to your liking. Cool thing is you can move the little boxes however you like. Next, get it done monthly. It's also a to-do weekly, but for the weeks of the month and the tasks for each week. So I like to write down at the beginning of the month the things that I need to do each week. The next page is the simple budget. It's just a list of my expenses. I use the simple budget template. Change the numbers and icons to your liking. Homework for life. I use the calendar template, the record of my daily highlights, a story-worthy moment of the day, Example, this morning I was at the gym deadlifting pretty confident Then this guy goes, hey, can we share the bar? I go, yeah, for sure. He adds 80 kilograms to my load. When he finished the set, I go, I'm going home. Bye. That's a story with potential, right? So basically I write, guy at the gym asks if we can work out together. I say, yes, he adds 80 kilograms to my load. I go home. If you do this exercise every day, boy, you have thousands of stories to tell, but most importantly, you will remember your life. That's why I do it. My links, pretty straightforward. Add the Notion browser extension. Then when you see something you like, click new links database, and you should see something like this on your Notion. Content calendar, organized by months. As you can see, I'm a big fan of this template. You can use it for any type of content. I have a folder for ideas, another for review, then I have each month. What's pretty cool is you can change the view of your calendar. Example, deadline. Each piece of content has a different folder and that's where everything goes. The script, references, links, music, pages within pages, all the assets for one video in one folder. It's the best. Reading and content list. In here, I have the movies I wanna watch, the books I want to read or that I'm reading. This is my actual list at the moment. In case you're interested, good stuff here, take a screenshot. Do you hate when you're about to watch a movie on Netflix, but for some reason you're logged out of your account and you don't remember your password? So you click forgot my password and they send you a code to a cell phone you no longer use. You have food on your hands, it's getting cold. With NordPass, you'll no longer have that issue. NordPass is the best password manager in the game. You can safely store all your passwords and sensitive information in one place. NordPass has a browser extension for the autofill feature, logging faster, no typing needed. Do you use your Facebook account to log into every new website because it's faster and easier? Have you wondered what could happen if your Facebook account is hacked? Digital security is important, guys. This video has been done in collaboration with NordPass, a great service for digital security. You can get exclusive access to NordPass best deals with this link and my code Robert Creating. I'll leave all the information in the video description down below. Moving on. Then we have goals. For this one, to-do list, 
So this year was actually pretty easy. It was kind of a sabbatical for me. Still, there are some goals I haven't checked and I only have one week to do it. It's the story of my life. Life priorities. Also to-do list template with my life priorities. This is an exercise I read in a book by Pat Flynn, The Airport Test. Essentially, what you do is you write the four most important things in your life and where you want to be in regards to those areas in five years. Most people choose relationships, career, finance, and health. In five years, I want to be financially free, for example. Looks. This one is an archive of the images I like. It's a Notion template, mood board. I used to do it outside of Notion, screenshots archived in a folder, but then someone said in one of my videos that I can also do that within Notion, so I did. Pretty basic. The way I do it is I see something I like, take a screenshot, tag the image, and maybe write a title or note. What's cool about this template is you can see the images according to their tags, you stay more organized. And last but not least, digital product ideas. Just an empty page with a checklist. This one is for ideas to create digital products. For example, how to make videos for YouTube. This is something I want to do, create classes for platforms like Skillshare, maybe next year. I used to be a teacher after all, and I think I can make cool classes. Please let me know what you think. Would you like that? What would you like to learn from me? That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I appreciate the support. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more. This is actually a special ending because this is the last video I'm gonna make this year. So I want to wish you a happy new year and I will see you next year. Goodbye.